I just got some of these routers, the TLWR703N, and they're a neat piece of hardware. You can open them up and modify them for to increase the RAM. That's exactly what I'm going to do. It's in the box. Just get the link. Under here, you got some warranty card, some Chinese manual, USB cable, and power adapter. We don't need them right now. Over there, we're only interested in the device itself. So there's a plastic film on the top, take that off. Basically, you just want to go around the edge here. to be able to slot in between the blue plastic and the latch and just click it off. This last one doesn't really count. Yeah. There we go. So, see there's one, two, three right next to the lead, and then on the other two sides. The third corner is held down by a, a notch that slots in underneath. Okay. So now we have, it's just plastic. It's the board itself. Pretty neat piece of hardware. You've got a 400 megahertz CPU, 32 meg of RAM, uh, one Ethernet port, uh, USB, and USB hosting. And on the back, you've got your Wi Fi antenna and 4 meg of flash. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this chip and replace it with one of already taken off one of these RAM boards. You have to buy a 512 meg stick, which will give you eight 64 meg um, chips. If you buy a one gig stick, they'll have the um, leadless bull grid array RAM chips, which won't fit here. So here's one of the RAM chips I've taken off of the RAM, so that'll be going on here. gets a bit loud, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. You basically just have to heat up the top and bottom pins while sliding in from the side and the chip will come off. It's pretty straightforward. So now the chip's been removed. So now the chip's been removed, we can go ahead and clean up these pads and then put the new chip on. So we'll add some flux. Soldering braid, soldering iron, and just do it.
Fiona. RAM has been removed, pads have been cleaned. Now I can go ahead and solder on the new chip. So I'll just clean these off. Just using uh, my circuit board cleaner spray. So you just spray it on there and just kind of wipe off. The spray dissolves the flux and then makes it more soluble and then you just wipe off the um the solute. Just add more flux. So one thing with SMD soldering is you can never have too much flux. Pins. I'm pretty happy with that alignment, so I'm going to attack the other corner. best to put it back in case. Unless of course you're going to do some crazy mode where you want to add a bunch of crap. You can do that. It's fine. Um, but basically to put it back it's pretty easy. You just feed the ethernet in first and the whole board kind of clips down. And then you just line up the indicator there with the spot for the lead. And this corner has the, the bit there, so you just kind of feed that underneath the latch, um, and then you push down where all the clips were, it'll snap on, and you're done.